Good morning, folks. I'm Henry Amazon Tour from Accountability Lab Liberia, and we are in Ganta City this morning. And we are going to be asking a few questions to our people this morning about voting, about the election process, and about maintaining the peace in Liberia. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Your name and which county are you from? My name is Avin Kongen. I'm from Nima County. Did you vote the first round of the elections? Yes, I voted. And are you aware there will be a second round? Yes. I aware. Are you going to vote? Yes, I'm going to vote back. For so, my, for my good president, I won. Okay. So, do you know the date of the second round of the election? Very again. I own. November 14. Yes, November 14. You yes. got it right. Uh, is your vote important? Yes, my vote is important. Yes. Why, why is it important? My vote is important because I'm voting for good leadership for the country and for team prices to come down. And it will be good for you and I. So why do you think we are going for second round? The reason why, because everyone will vote that. And we're not, we're not in a war there. The election commission will not with them. So anything they say, we agree. They are all right. And are right too to say, oh, so they are so win. When they start, we will vote for them again. So to, to see who win. So it's because we didn't reach the 50% plus one. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. What is your name? Which country are you from? And what do you do for a living? Oh, my name is Atama from Lofa. What do you do for a living? Oh, I, I sell slipper. What do you think can lead people to violence, especially during the election period? Number one, they, they, they cheating when it comes to cheating. Yeah. What do you think we can do to avoid violence? Uh, number one, we just need a fair play in the election, and when the result comes, the person that we give it to, we just serve it. Because anybody that, that, that we give it to, they serve it when. when when, when no problem, the citizen will still work. So anybody that go there, when go see that bugger or that job, we are one just a When there's misunderstanding, who do you think we can carry the complaint to? I want to get city mayor, they get a uh, community chairman, they get more people in the community who can carry the complaint there all to the police. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, too. So, good morning, sir. Uh, how are you doing? Your name, which county you from, and what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm Samuel L., Mr. Samuel S. Dine, resident of Royal Community, to be precise, here from District Number no. 5, Nima County, Republic of Liberia. What do you think can lead people to violence during the election period? There are so many causes that can lead somebody to be to a violence. So what's more than you can name few for us? Some could be when there is no much civil education for the people through the National Election Commission to send people who should do civil education with the people. And those who cannot reason at the end of the day, they will want to create tension in the electoral process. As a result, will cause that election violence, electoral violence. And then besides that again, you observe that people who go there to be networkers, when they go there, those people in their demands cannot be men like we want to regulate, we want to vote and what have you, it's gonna bring tension to the side. So those are things that need to be put into play before the elections of two thousand that means the twenty uh the fourteenth of November. So I feel election violence can be sometimes people who are first time voters don't understand the dynamics into politics. They just join into all of violence that they don't know about. So my advice to them is we have to be very civil in doing this process. Let's be educated in this so we cannot go back to our days. That has to do with violence. We don't want to go back to violence. Liberia is a peaceful country and we all want to be patriot to our own country. Let's just be peace and stability within our nation, Liberia and our large. So, so did you see any violence going on in your community, in your county quite recently? It's violent our in uh, district number four, Nima County, uh, to be precise, in uh, Biolantua, 
that almost brought like a chaos and they will rerun the election there. So we are warning our young people to desist from violence and then not to follow those politicians who as our, our representative, our president to come. They shouldn't join into violence, but they should be peaceful as those people as people they like, they be involved into violence because we are above the level of violence now. Thank you very much. It was nice having you, sir. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you too as well. God bless you. Thank you. Good morning. Your name and which county do you reside in? Good morning. I'm Yolokaya K from Nima County. Did you vote the first round of the elections? Yes, I did. And will you be voting the second round? I'm prepared to vote. Is your vote important? Very, very important and it's my right. So I have to do it. So when is the date of the second round? The date of the second round will be on the 14th of November, 2023. So why are we having the second round? Why are we going the second round? Uh, we are going the second round because the total vote that we our candidate need to acquire it is 51.1. Yes, which but, is 50 plus 1. Yes, 50 plus 1. 50 percent plus 1. Percent plus 1. But now, we, are, we have to go second round to see which one of the candidates will meet the, marg the margin. Okay. So are you going to tell your friends, family, in the community to go vote for the second round? Yes, I'm doing it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good morning. What is your name? My name is Mary Zonin, I'm from Nima County. What do you do for a living? I say bread. What can lead to election violence? During election, what can lead to plow? If you cheat the other party, whatever the opponent has done, the father, what can lead you to fight it? Okay. During the election, people, you saw something that are happening a few times? Yes. Where? I've seen our in Gantos or in Mosorado, many places. Okay. So, why are you advised? that we can give, especially to the youth there, about the kind of election violence. What can we tell them? What advice we get for them? Uh, the advice I get for them is that to keep the high down. Well, if someone wins, someone loses, nobody should fight against each other. Let election be peaceful so everybody can live a better life. Mm -hmm. So when we get problems like that, like that, like that, what you think we should carry a complaint? Uh, we should carry a complaint to the station or we call some the willing to cancel us. So the thing they call violence. You think what they can do to peace and development? When violence comes, when hala hala comes, you think what can happen to peace and the development are going on? For the peace for the go be be cancelled in there. So there will be no violence. Thank you very much. Your name and yeah. which county are you from? I am Avin Yene. I'm from Nima County. Did you vote the first election? Yes, of course. I voted the first election. Are you aware there will be a second round? Yeah, I'm aware. I'm are, you, are you going to vote? Yes, I'm taking part. Food. Do you know the date of the second round of the elections? Yes. The 14th November 2023. Is your vote important? Very much important. Very, very much important indeed. What do you think we are going for the second round? We, we need to go for the second round because during the first round of the election, uh, none of the candidates obtained the 50 plus one, that is, you know, uh, the vote that, that has to give somebody the qualification, yeah. you know, to lead the country as a leader. So uh, we didn't meet, uh, nobody meet up with such, you know, number, and so we have to go up for the runoff, which will be here on the November 14th. Yes, so you mean the 50 percent plus one? Yes. Yes. So it was not accumulated by anyone, any of the candidates in the race. So that's why you know, we have to go for re-election. Okay, so you're going to encourage your people, your community, your family to vote for the second round? Seriously, like I'm speaking, I'm on my way now to Secretary to speak to my parents so that uh, they can all vote. We can all see reasons to support the kind of person that we think is the best person to lead us in this country. So yes, indeed, I can take my, my personal phone though I don't have the means but I put on mini on my phone calling people yes so just encourage them to vote it's important it doesn't matter whether you you, you are being impacted by whoever or you are not being impacted by whoever but vote it is your right as citizen thank you very much you're welcome